me dejó hablar estando tú aquí te hubiera dicho pero me dormí nunca sí tenía un gran sueño What? Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Okay, good. Nice. So we're ready to start one more class. Let me fix this. All right, so we're almost done. Okay, um, well, I, I got a, a message today, right? I think everybody did about the platforms that some of you already completed the, the exercises from unit, different section one, two, and three. Okay, but there are still some others who who have not done it yet, right? So then, yes, get motivated, people, and you know, just two more weeks. Uh, just to remind you, right? I don't know if I told you yesterday. I think I did, but I don't know if I told the other group too uh, that we're gonna have this week and this week. We have classes Friday, right? So we're gonna have the five classes every week. Okay, so having said that, we're going to get some reading from How Serious is Plagiarism, okay? Sometimes uh, we don't pay attention to, to plagiarism, right? But actually it is something really uh, delicate, right? Something that we have to pay um, a lot of attention to and and then uh, therefore we have to to know right and somehow how to deal with these topics also in in another language right probably in Spanish we have it very clear the vocabulary that we use how to give an opinion about it okay but now we're gonna have the same idea with the uh, uh, but in English, okay? So I'm going to read this uh, article here, right? That says, uh, how serious is plagiarism? Then uh, the, the this is reading a strategy that they are promoting here, or that the one that we're supposed to study is scan the first paragraph of the article and what's the word, they say, what does the word plagiarism mean? <clears throat> when we have to scan, it means that we have to only read quickly, right? And find, for example, the word uh, plagiarism, and then you have plagiarized, although, and then we go quickly. So once you've got it here, okay, so this is the only word related to that. And then we can see that parts of a major project, she gave them failing grades. And then we know that, for example, when we're talking about plagiarism, is something that we have 
obviously taken, okay, pages or parts of some some other people's work. And that is very, very delicate, right? And we have to be very careful with that. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to read the first one. And then after I will need someone to read the second paragraph, then the third, four, fifth, and six. Okay, listen. Recently, recently a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news after Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized parts of a major project. She, she gave them failing grades. Although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The school board directed Mrs. Pel Ms. Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire 118 points. Ms. Pelton resigned in protest. Okay? So I think that Ms. Pelton was right, okay? Because, you know, if there is a rule, we have to abide by the rule, follow the rule. Yes? Uh, excuse me. Who, who is supposed that uh, they are the school board directed? Who are they? The what? Uh, when it says uh, right after uh, parents complain, uh -huh. the school board directed. Yes, the school board. board the school board, board is, is the group of people that uh, controls everything in a, in a school. Like here in El Salvador, uh, the big schools, there is, there is a board. No? As a direction. No. It, no, there is a board. There is a board of uh, people who have the control. And then there is a board of directors. And below the board, then there is a general principal, a principal. That's the what we call director in Spanish. And after the principal, you have the subdirector then coordinators, then the teachers, and so on, okay? In this case, it was not the, the, the school's director. It was the board, the group of people, okay? The group of people that uh, gives money, receives money, and they directed means that they gave the direction, gave the order, okay? They gave the guidelines to the teacher to change the rule. Okay, so in this case, directed is an action. The school board directed Miss Pelton to change. It's like, for example, suppose uh, in this moment I am a uh, okay. Uh, the the class is from Monday to Thursday. Okay, but you know this the board of us. Uh, let's say the uh, uh, English corporativo. They directed you and me to change the schedule from Monday to Friday because they need to present some uh, uh, documents to and so forth before the 15th, okay? So they gave us the directions, what we had to do. And we only say yes, okay? Because it's not a problem, right? But in this case, okay, in this case, uh, she was to supposed to take the 100, 1,800 points, so like zero, the grade, but they say, no, only 600, only the 33%. Then she was not uh, happy with that, and then she decided to quit. She resigned, okay? So when you, when, when you talk about the school board, it means the directors on top of the vice principal. Okay, there is always a group of people. Okay, who wants to read the second one? Who wants to read the second? Me, teacher. Okay. Carla? Uh, or Xiomara? Who said me? Uh, Xiomara. Okay, Xiomara, go ahead. 
why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raised some important questions. What is plagiarism? How Pla serious is plagiarism? It? Plagiarism? How serious is it? How serious is it? Okay. So then these are two questions, right? How serious plagiarism is? Okay. Good. Who wants to read the third one? Me, teacher. Okay, Me, Hector. teacher. Okay, Hector, you read the third and Marlene, Marlena, right? Marlena, you read the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Hector, go. Okay. The simplest, the simplest test form of legaris, legaris occur when someone copy, copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student when a student plays someone else to write an essay. Okay. So write an essay. Okay, before we continue, Marlene, uh, questions about vocabulary people? No problem. Easy is this the last word to essay. write an essay. essay? Mm -hmm. An essay is uh, a paper that you write, which is called an ensayo, right? It's like mm, a like a okay. composition, right? That we write. So that is an essay. Okay, okay Marlena, read the next paragraph. Some people. Sure. Okay. Excuse Some. Okay, uh, wait, okay. Read Marlene and then Oscar ask a question. Go Marlene. Okay. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not, it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some equally respective figures including Martin Luther King Jr. have plagiarized. Plagiarized. Okay, good. Plagiarized. Thank you. Plagiarized. plagiarized. Okay, Oscar, what was your question? Sure. Uh, for example, about the previous uh, paragraph, when it says that uh, someone copies material without giving credit to the source, and mm -hmm. what happens if you... If you copy the material, but but then you do credit uh, the person that did it, so mm -hmm. is, is, is it the same? No, uh, uh, no, because uh, people know that you didn't do it. You are being honest. Okay. Mm -hmm. The problem is that when you when I copy paste, suppose that I said, okay, guys, look, I wrote this article for you, okay, and then I am taking the credit of the person who really invented, created this paragraph, okay? Okay, this article. And then uh, I am stealing that person's idea, okay? So that is the problem. It's like if you write a song, if you write a song and then another sing a singer comes, he takes the song and says that it's his, okay? And, that, and does not give you credit. So that is plagiarism. Is still other person's idea. Okay, that's why it is serious, right? But if you give credit, okay, I'm going to sing this song. This song was written and created a uh, music and lyrics by Oscar of Julio Amador Cordero. Okay. All right. So then in the voice of Luis Avellan tonight. Okay. So then I'm going to sing a song, but the people know that it's not my song. It's only my voice. Okay, so that's why it says copies material without giving credit to the source. The source in this case is you. Okay. Good. What about the next question? Although. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Julio. Teacher. Go ahead. Julio and Francisco, you read the last one. Although some people find reason to justify plagiarism. 
Others feel the issue is clear cut. They feel it, it is morally wrong and consider it a stealing, a thief of, of, of ideas rather than money. These people believe that a student who plagiarize benefit unfairly, uh, they, that they receive a better grade than they deserve. Okay. Okay, Francisco. Okay, teacher, thank you. So what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment to severe? Do teachers have the right to tell a student and parent what is right or wrong? Miss Felton will probably say that the, the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, all right. Teacher, about, yes. about the part that says, uh, others feel the issue is clear cut, means that uh, it's, uh, they think that it's uh, morally wrong. Uh -huh. Clear cut is that um, there is nothing to to discuss. It's clear. Okay. When I have a when I there is a rule, okay, and and for example that suppose that I am a playing football, okay, then I am the defender, and then uh, my goalkeeper is on on the on the ground. And then the ball is coming. I cannot reach, and I stop the ball with my hand. And then it's a penalty. There is clear cut that I broke the rule. I touch my hand. I am a defender. I'm not the goalkeeper. I stop the ball, and they have to give me a red card or a yellow uh, or a, in the penalty, right? Or the penalty and no red card. And then I say, no, but you know, uh, I didn't touch the ball, or yeah, but you know, I because I, I was uh, a, about to fall. So you start giving excuses, but the rule is clear. You touch the ball, it's penalty. That's when they say it's clear cut. It means there is no point of discussion. It is not correct. It is not correct, and that's it. Okay, that's why I say they felt is morally wrong and consider is stealing a theft of ideas rather than money. Okay, now this is you know one point, and you see also the the image, the picture. Okay, the guy here, the rover, taking a piece of the idea from the book. Okay, now any opinions, questions about vocabulary, about the concept of plagiarism. For example, what do you think about cheating on a test in the university or school? What happened with this is, uh, I, I think it's, it's not completely uh, completely bad because mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we're not able to, uh, to have a super a memory what what really what really is important for me is that uh, you're able to analyze and read uh, everything to to get the the main idea of, of what you're doing or to have a, a nice understanding um, by doing let's say math process or uh, everything related to 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 have a, a a nice concentration but with regards to to have a a super memory, I think that it's not necessary. That's why I, I think that it, it's a little bit uh, uh, understandable to to copy <laughs> from okay. my point of view. No, it's okay. I mean, remember, this is opinions are, I mean, we are free to give opinions. No problem, okay? Uh, anybody else who wants to give an opinion? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, I, I have an opinion. I have an opinion. With the sharing a copy of the anniversary mm -hmm. is somebody else. Uh, somebody can share a copy if if somebody needs needs it. Need it. Need it. Mm -hmm. 
but is is done correct because if a teacher catch is a problem. Ah, because of the rule, yes. Yes. Okay, good. You know, I think uh, that's why I think that we teachers we have to uh, elaborate, right? We have to create exams first. You know, make sure that a students understand in class. Obviously, there are like uh, Oscar says there are there are some parts in English that you need to memorize. Some others you don't need to memorize. Okay, there are different um, let's say uh, learning styles. For example, this one, the scan, you see here at the beginning it says scan the first paragraph. There are strategies, okay, that we have to teach the students, right? For example, if, if I'm a literature, literature teacher, I have to teach the students to read, but not only, okay, here's the book, read it, and then and answer these questions. No, okay. First, okay, who is the author of the book? Okay, what is the background of the of the writer? Uh, where is the book written? Uh, the history, okay, in the it was in the in the twentieth century, in the seventeenth century. It's a historical book. It's a fic science fiction book. Okay, so we have to teach them to give a uh, context to the students, and after that, okay, now get the main like you said, get the main idea. Okay, now, for example, uh, sometimes you can find new words. For example, how do you understand a new word from the context? Look at this one. Here it says, recently, at the beginning of the paragraph, recently a biology teacher in Kansas. Okay, sometimes English, you see the names of the states Milwaukee, and then very, very weird names, uh, Cleveland. And then we might think that is the name of a person. But here it says Kansas. And then they open a hyphen and says, I state in the American Midwest. Okay. So then, oh, Kansas is uh, one of the United States, okay, United States, and is in the Midwest. Is in the, and they give you the location. So then when we are reading and we see a new word, we have to find the, the clues, the keywords to understand the meaning. Make national and even international news. After Christine Felton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had fire rights parts of a major project. Okay. So when we have this is a university. In the in the university, you have projects to graduate. Okay, so this is a major project. When you have a major project in the university, is a project that you have to present to graduate. Okay, and uh, here in El Salvador, you, you make a, we make a thesis. Okay. Then you have that thesis is something like the, like the major project to graduate. And then reading like that is how we can, uh, reading is like we can find comprehension. But we have to read in a lot. At the beginning, we have to do it slowly, okay, with the students, teachers, and everybody. But after that, you know, the students learn to do it alone, okay? So that is one of the problems in, in our educative system in Latin America, we can say. Okay, then the other thing is, for example, the, when you, and you don't have to memorize everything. For example, when you see a new word, what is your strategy to, to remember that word? Not to memorize it, to remember the word and not to forget it. Writing on the, on the paper, teacher. Okay, you write it on the paper. Good. Yes, Yamara? Repeat and repeat uh, talking and not just thinking about the words, uh, but uh, repeating speaking the words. Okay, very good. Okay, you see, for example, Yamara, I mean, it's clear her idea because technically, I would say, use the word 
in context. Okay, look in the chat. Okay, that's what Xiomara says. You have a new word, for example, um, wrong. Wrong is the opposite of right. And then uh, suppose I said, okay, today there was a soccer match. Let me see, yeah. Okay, uh, Real Madrid, Napolis. Napolis won. Okay, oh no, no, sorry, I am wrong. Then I am practicing the word wrong. I am wrong, I am incorrect. I am wrong, no, uh, here says that Real Madrid won. Okay. So then uh, I sorry, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong information. I repeat, run again. I gave you the incorrect information. Okay, this is what Sumara says. This is use the word in a context many times with different sentences. And then after that, you will remember. Okay, and you don't need sometimes to be writing too much or to repeat and to try to memorize because not everybody has the same capacity of uh, uh, let's say, uh, memorizing. For example, there are some people that have the ability to memorize immediately many things, like in math, like the tables, right? Remember las tablas? Okay, two times one, two, two times two, four, two times three, six, two times four, four eight, two times five, ten. And then you go like, okay, repeating all the, the tables, okay, until you get to the nine, okay? But nowadays it's not necessary, okay? You can practice it, or you can use a calculator, which is which is legal. <laughs> okay. Sure. Good. Yes, sir. Tell me. One, one more question for, for example about this: Is it is it right for the school board director to have demanded to to uh, to be taken to to have taken the six? 600 points instead of the 1800 points. I, I think that uh, the students uh, should get what they deserve. I mean, if they, uh, let's say, copy it, copy it just a, a little bit, uh, for example, uh, that's what I said, that they should get what they deserve and, and your own uh, ideas. What, should, uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, that's a that's a problem. Uh, that's that's a problem when you have a rule, okay. Uh, if you have a rule that says that if you copy paste and they don't give you the parameters, what percentage? Okay. Uh, well, if you copy and paste ten percent, it's okay. No problem. No punishment. But if you copy fifteen percent, then only one hundred points. If you copy twenty five percent, it's gonna be a uh, 500 points but in if in the rule you have stipulated all these uh different situations i mean the students should get what they deserve but if the rule only says if you are detected if copy paste is detected in your document you get a zero it's a zero okay so then uh because that's the that's the rule they have no tolerance Nowadays, there is a program, the name is Turn It In. I think you have to pay a license, but for example, the universities use it, the schools, uh, some schools also use it, private schools, because they have to pay some money. Then you, if, I, if you give me an essay for a project like this, I put it in the platform, and then the, plat the platform scans the, the document, and it gives the percentage of plagiarism you uh, you have or the, the the document has, and then if the doc if the platform says that there is only a ten percent, they said okay, ten percent of plagiarism detected. Okay, it is in the range of acceptable. So then no problem. But if the school says, no, 10%, that, that's not what the platform says. But if my rule in the school is different, you have to follow the, the rule of the school or the university. But I, I mean, I agree with you. Once the rules are written, and then if, uh, the, if the rules are clear, that's why it says clear cut, no problem, okay? Because if 
they should get what they deserve. I agree with you in that part. The only problem is that sometimes uh, we don't have uh, the rules, the parameters, okay, or the, what is the one, the criteria, the criteria is not clear cut. Uh -huh. It's not clear cut. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's the, once you have the criteria, clear cut, then nobody has to discuss, okay? And then in this in the United States universities have the criteria very clear cut. That's why in this case, the the school board had to intervene because the the teacher was applying the rule, okay. But they they decided to change it and they said, okay, no, 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 the the eighteen hundred, just six hundred. But she didn't agree. That's why she quit. That is also, you know, a, it's acceptable, right? If she didn't want to change her mind, it's her opinion too. All right. Awesome. Okay, good. Nice, nice questions. Very good. Okay, you see, this is the idea of this uh, pattern, right? To discuss, to discuss. And I mean, everything, if you, if we talk, can be solved, right? The only thing that, and not to fight, not to get angry, and then everyone, everyone has, uh, let's say, uh, has the right to give an opinion. Okay, now let's see who wants to give me the answer for today. The town Silver Cliff has a population of one hundred people. Is that a fact or an opinion? Fact. Okay, this is a. It's fact. a fact, teacher. It's a fact. Okay, remember also when we have facts are things that are true, right? Opinions can be maybe also true, but probably there is no, uh, how do you call this? Evidence or arguments to, to support the opinion in some cases. The miner saw flame-like black light on top of each grave. Okay, this question seem to be a little bit different, right? Okay, in this case, the miner saw flame-like block light on top of each ray. Fact. It's also a fact. Edward Lineham suggested var various explanations for the lights. But same fact. And the lights were actually reflections of lights from the town. Opinion. Opinion. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. There was no evidence of radioactivity. But, 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 but. And the lights were from the helmets of dead miners. Opinion. 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 Okay. There you go. Good. That's it. Okay, this is, for example, this is a reading strategy also. Okay, you have the scan and also to identify uh, if the, we, when you are reading uh, an article or when you are reading news, nowadays that is very common to see the news uh, let me see, for example, um, uh, Ivan, Ivan Ibrahim, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello. Ivan, where, where do you read the news? In the newspaper, uh, Twitter, well, now it's X, or Facebook, where do you get the news from? Or on TV? No, on TV. On TV? Okay. Good. Okay, so this is, for example, you know, one, uh, how you can get information from different sources, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Now, when you have this, okay, also you can see that many people get the, a more information nowadays from different uh, sources, speaking, listening, 
and reading and writing. So then we have to be able to summarize, synthesize, and analyze what we read or listen to so that we, we can uh, find the right interpretation, right? So then, because this is what happens sometimes, that we are reading a, probably in a very light way. Okay, now a, it's, I mean, I don't have anything against the social network, X, Facebook, or I don't know, TikTok, if you watch the news there too, uh, they are good. Okay, the only problem is that they only give you pieces of information. Sometimes, you know, you don't have the complete context. Okay, so then it's not, it's different like when you read um, a book or when you read the, the newspaper, then you have more uh, information. Okay, so this is the end basically of This one, now we have the listening. This is the test, the midterm test. Okay. Remember the strategy, right? Listen. In this case, first, you can take a look at the questions. The question here is instructions, listen to the conversations and the correct answer. This is like a review. Before Patrick's mom finished high school, she bought a new car. Almost didn't graduate, worked full time after school. Then if Patrick's mom had been more serious in high school, she would have taken auto mechanics, taken higher level classes, had more regrets. So then we establish popular uh, a popular coffee bar test and Alton agree it's important too. Okay, have affordable snacks, play good music, and so on. And Austin surprise, surprises Tess by saying, he always goes to the roasted bean, loves chai tea, and doesn't drink coffee. So listen to the first part of this audio. We have to answer these questions. We're gonna listen to the first part and then answer the first the first four questions. I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know, but before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good-paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight? Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However... Okay. Before Patrick's mom finished high school, she bought, almost didn't graduate, or worked full-time after school. Almost, almost didn't graduate. Didn't graduate. Almost didn't graduate. Okay. She was not a brilliant right at the beginning. She was more focused on having a car. Okay, that's a mother's confession. If Patrick's mom had been more serious in high school, she would have. She would have taken, taken higher level taken classes. Taken higher level classes. Taken higher level classes, right? But she was distracted in that moment of her life. To establish popular coffee, coffee bar, Tess and Austin agree it's important to what? Play, Play good good music. music. Play good music. And Austin surprises Tess by saying? 
doesn't drink coffee. Okay. And then you have some others with element water. Martin thinks that just got two more. Okay, now let's continue listening. I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. 3. Gosh, Tess. Have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. It sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. And it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean, because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? On College Avenue. It's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. Okay, so we already answered those. Now listen to this. One. Okay, Ben, I think everything is ready for the party. What time did you tell everyone to show up? Oh, around 7.30 or 8. Great. Are Ellen and Walter coming? Well, I guess so. I sent Walter a text. Oh, no. Walter never checks his phone. You should have talked to him. I didn't really think about it. Texting is just more convenient for me. But you work with Ellen. You could have invited her at work. I'm sorry. I thought Walter would read the text message. I'm going to try to call them right now. Two. You know, Regina, I'm really fed up with Jessica. Why is that? She seems like a pretty nice person. In fact, I really enjoy working with her. She tells entertaining stories. Well, she does everything she can to impress the vice president. She's so polite to him, and she even baked him a chocolate cake on his birthday. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have done that. I think she's trying to get a promotion. Hmm, that's a very big assumption, Martin. Don't forget that she's nice to everyone, not just our boss. Okay. Ellen and Walter probably won't be at the party. Why? Ben sent a text message to Walter. To Walter, right? And the last one? Mar Martin, Martin thinks. Bacon, bacon, bacon the our boss, a birthday cake. Okay shouldn't have baked your boss a birthday cake. Okay, this is a regret. Okay, they should have done something else. Uh, they send a text message. This is a... Uh, okay, here we have the reason. 
Then saying he doesn't drink coffee, right? Play good music. Okay, so we are okay with all of them. There is another listening here. Okay, so we have choose. Now choose the correct words. What is this about? I graduated from college. I used my college degree to get a high paying job. Now you're going to use, for example, the closest, right? For example, once, until, before, uh, well, you have here uh, in the past, the correct tense, had decided, decided, or have decided. Everything will depend on the sentence. This is simple past. So what do we need to use in the next one? But in the first one, you would say once I graduated or until or before. Once I graduated. Once. It's once, teacher. Once, right? Once is similar, like, you know, after I graduated or as soon as, as soon as I graduated from college, I used my college degree and that's it. Yes. The next one, when you say Takio got his first car, he immediately found out how many of his friends needed rides. The moment. The, the moment. moment. The, the moment. moment. He got his car. Because yeah. it's in, immediately. Exactly, right? The moment, uh -huh, as soon as, again, Tokyo got his car. Perfect. The next one is, as soon as Katrina landed her first job, her uh, first job, she decided. 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 She decided. decided. She decided to put 10% of each paycheck in the bank, okay? This is a good strategy, people, to save money, right? If you can do 20, 30, 40, depends. If you are single, if you're married, you can put more of your paycheck or salary in the bank every month. To gain more real world experience in college, Andre should have applied. Okay, should have applied. This is a Let's say it could be a, an opinion, could be a regret, okay, or could be also an advice. To gain more real world experience, Andre should have applied for a non pay internship. So just to get more experience. How about number five? Who wants to read it? Hey, teacher. Yes, Carla. If I'd been more sensible in college, I could have learned how to control my money and not get into debt. Okay, yes, we need those lessons in the school. That's true. Okay, nice. Uh, number six. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Francisco. He shouldn't have been so naive. I can't believe he actually fell or or all the lies Anna told him. Okay. They said he shouldn't have been, right? Yes. So, right, so innocent, right? That is the meaning of naive, right? <laughs> yeah, good. Now, if I... Who wants to read number seven? If I hadn't been so in so in, so in my sure, in my sure, I would have appreciated all that my family tried to do for me when I was in school. Okay, if I hadn't been. Okay, good. Number eight. <laughs> Who wants to share the number eight? It. Okay. Rosalina, go. The liberated man was supposed to drop off the box at nine o'clock. It's an hour late. 
Okay. He may. may he may have lost the directions to get here. Okay, that's a more logical answer. Yes, the most logical one. Good. Number nine. Me teacher. Jorge was no. wearing, um, Gloria was wearing a new ring today and John looked very happy. They must have decided to get married. They must have, yes, must have decided. Good, number 10. Me, teacher. Yes, Sarah, go ahead, and then Marlene. Okay, did you remember to charge the digital camera? Oh no, you should have reminded me. You should have reminded me. Okay, good. Okay, Marlene, the last one. Okay, I ordered steak last night at, at the new restaurant. I was disappointed. It was undercooked, but I didn't do anything about it. And I will have complaint and send it back to the chef. I would? Would have. Would have, okay. Okay, let's check just to have this one, options. Uh, you can see all of them are right. Good. So remember, this is to express a uh, uh, models, you know, past models, you know, to express regrets, opinions, and advice. Okay. Good. Now, in this one, uh, instructions complete the sentences with the words below. Just oh, type, it says type the word in, no capital letters or periods are needed. It's always important in this platform, remember the, the instructions, right? In this case, it says that we only have to write or type in the word but we don't need to write capital letters or periods. Okay, what is the first one? Set is very... Pragmatic. 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 He made decisions based on, on practical results instead uh -huh. of ideas or improved theories. Okay, so pragmatic. Good, how about number two? Naive. Uh, until people experience different challenges in life, they are still naive. naive. Okay, good, how about number three? My son is so carefree, he never seemed to worry about anything in his life. Okay, very good. Care free. You see, I am not using the capital letters nor periods. Audrey. Yes. It's a private life. She's very? What she said? Look at the rest of the sentence. She's very difficult to control at school. I guess that means she is rebellious. She's rebellious, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, yeah, so she's rebellious. She's a rebel. Okay. She doesn't want to probably listen to anybody. Okay. The next one is instructions. Correct the phrase to complete each sentence. To build a large customer base, a beauty salon has to have a page. Has to have a like good, good reputation, right? A good reputation. 
discount stores. In order to attract. Okay, don't have to advertise much in order to attract customers. Seven, for a new pizzeria. You said, you said. You said. To succeed. Yes. Okay. And part two, part three. Complete the sentence with because, due to, for, or since. I like the food network channel because it always has interesting cooking shows. Okay, number nine. Seeing the discount department store open it, there is not play to part of Main Street. Okay, in this case, it says watch for capital letters when a sentence begins. In this case, it's in the beginning. We have two instructions. Okay, number 10. You know, Starbucks is famous for its coffee, but I love its pastries. Pastries, yes. Pastries. Yes, it's delicious, but expensive. Mm. Okay. There you go. Again. Excellent, right? So we have vocabulary. We have uh, conjunctions because since and for. And that's it, right? Now we have another one, I guess. There is a reading. Okay, a book club is only for people who have a lot of time to read. Now we're going to use the scan a strategy. Okay, book club members know that sharing and talking about books with others can be very rewarding. Okay, for people who feel that they are too busy to read, a book club helps them keep up with a reading schedule. Okay, so a book club is only for people who have a lot of time to read. True or false? True. It's true, teacher. It's true? Yeah. And then we have the next one. Some members have become more self-confident by reading, by leading discussions in a book cloud. Who says false. book cloud? False. 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 I think you had that one. And a book club should have a lot of members with the same opinions. True. true. It's true. True. So you don't get to. In a successful book, club has members with different backgrounds and ages. True. That's also true. The same. True. true. A book club could choose to read many different types of books. False. This is false. And most book, uh, most book clubs have their meetings in the homes of the members. It's also uh, for, for. It's false. Okay, not really. Yeah. It's better not to have a leader in charge of the discussion. True. And it's not okay to dislike the book being discussed. False. This is the one that is false. Okay, you see, this is when you do your homework, everything goes fine.
Okay, so we finished before. Okay, then we have uh for tomorrow we're going to have the the beginning of section four. We're gonna have time to to practice this one because now it's more more relaxed. So if you have questions about the the test or anything in the other sections, so it would be good if you keep moving forward, okay, with the a with the platform right so don't 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 slow down so keep it up so that you can finish this on time just let me check the attendance quickly so we have francisco antonio is here right I'm here teacher yeah hey, giovanni is here too hector ivan yes i'm here hector hector, hector. Present, teacher. yes he's here too yeah uh, Ivan Ibrahim, yes. Jose, Thank you. Joel Emanuel. Yes, here is two. Joel. Joel. And uh, Jorge Alberto. Yes, Jose Lino is here too. Julio Cesar Campos. Here, teacher. Okay, yes, there you are. Then uh, Carla Selena Hernandez. Carlos Present, yes, you're here. Catherine Lisbeth. Present, teacher. Present, Luis Eduardo. Present, teacher. Oh yes, Eduardo is. Uh, Marlene Elizabeth. Yes. Present, teacher. Melissa Stephanie. Present. There you are, Neftali. Oh, yes, here you are. Present, teacher, present. Okay, good. And Oscar Alexander. Oscar Abdulio. Oscar, yes. Which, ah, yes, Oscar is there. Oscar Abdulio. Present, present. Yeah, no problem. Romeo Vladimir. Present. Yes, and then Sara. Sara, yes, Sara Elisa is there. Yes, yeah, present. Sofia, Sofia. Yes, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle, yes. And Sofia Elizabeth. No. And Wendy. Yeah, Wendy's here. Present. Xiomara Violeta. Present, teacher. And Jenny Carlin. Okay. Did I mention all the names? Me, teacher. Carla Rene. I always skip your name, Carla. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but yes, you're here. I have marked. I marked. Okay, good. Well, then uh, tomorrow we have the unit four. The unit four is about for you to have an idea. Uh, working about movies. Oh, we're going to get practice with the passive voice. I will send you to the uh, chat tomorrow some material for about the passive voice so that you can have we can have something to work in class, some extra material. Okay, so for today, that's all we have. So have a very good night and see you tomorrow, people. Thank you for connecting. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye, -bye. bye everyone.